Hi everyone, my name is Garmin and I'm from New Leaf Designs. In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to put in lifelines into your knitting project. Now this is my cozy moments shawl in progress and it's very tiny as you can see and I'm gonna put in a lifeline now and a lifeline will provide just a kind of a safe space for you to rip back to. It's uh, really handy if you're about to start a really difficult section. For me, I'm gonna start a lace section now and it's really difficult to rip back your knitting in lace. So I just want to make use of some lifelines. And so you need your knitting project. You need a tapestry needle with a blunt tip. If you don't have any with blunt tip, then it's fine, but it's just you don't want it to catch on your uh, stitches. And you want some smooth yarn that is of a contrasting color. And I always go for cotton. This is Scapius Katona, and it's available in 10 gram uh, balls, so it's really, really handy. I'm gonna use some of that. You want to use a long thread for this because not only do you want it to go through your stitches, you also want to be able to tie the ends together and make sure you're, you can still stretch your shawl because otherwise it might distort the fabric and yeah, it just looks prettier if you have a longer lifeline in there. And then you can also block it on the go if you like. So I'm just gonna take a really long thread. It's better to have it a little bit on the long side than on the short side, so this might be a little bit too long, but I can always make it shorter. So I'll just thread that on my tapestry needle. And now I'm gonna show you a close-up video on how I do this. Basically, you're gonna follow the cord I've pulled the needle out of the stitches, so it's just on the cord right now, and that makes it a little bit easier to um, thread through the stitches. Also, I have some stitch markers on here that are not removable, so they're, um, they're a solid circle, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Um, don't go through your stitch markers because you will regret it. <laughs> because if you go through your stitch markers, your stitch markers will stay at your lifeline and it will just be, yeah, just, just don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to show you up close how I do this. Okay, so I have my little shawl here. This is just my row counter. It's, uh, it's okay if you don't have one of those. Um, and I'm taking my thread and I'm pulling the stitches a little bit bigger so I can go through them alongside the cord and try not to split any stitches but if you do like if you finish Putting in the lifeline and if you notice that a stitch has been split don't go undo it because um, you can you can fix that when you go when you rip back to your lifeline and when you pick up your stitches from that so we've come to the stitch marker now and I'm not going to go through that so I'm just gonna skip it and go through the stitches So I really like having my blunt needle for this, so it doesn't, uh, or it tends not to split any stitches. So I'm just pulling on the fabric a little bit, so it's easier to slide this needle through the stitches.
There we go. Just feel free to manipulate your needles or your stitches so that it's easier for you to guide that needle through. Okay, I'm just going to pull on the needle so we don't have any of the uh, double-stranded thread. Um, uh, here's another stitch marker, so I'm just going to skip that again. Add through the two final stitches. there and I'm gonna take my needle out and now I have my lifeline here and I can always trim it uh, so I'm just gonna tie a knot right about here and trim the excess and if it's too long later on, then I can always trim it some more. But uh, this is really handy so you can really stretch your shawl. And um, uh, even if your ends are a little bit shorter, you're going to want to tie them uh, because you don't want your end to be um, disappearing within your uh, stitches because that kind of um, then it's no longer a lifeline anymore. So now on the next row, uh, when you when you knit or when you purl your stitches, be very mindful that you're not uh, knitting into your lifeline. So I'm just going to knit the very first stitches. So you're just going to knit as you would normally do. Just make sure that you're not knitting into your lifeline because then it will be caught in your in the row above so yeah here I'm doing some purl stitches and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to avoid that so especially here when purling it's actually really difficult to catch the lifeline but it would be possible to purl it together with your stitch and you really don't want to do that. So that's just an extra tip from me to you. That's how you insert a lifeline. You can kind of see it through the stitches here. I've just knit one row. And so basically, if you've made a mistake, then you can just take your needle out, all the way out, and rip back uh, your yarn until you reach the lifeline. And your lifeline will hold all of the stitches of that row. It might be um, a good tip uh, to note down at which row you inserted the lifeline so you know from where to pick up. Uh, from wearing your pattern. Um, now I really like to use this for lace patterns and uh, I'm gonna do several lace sections in this shawl. You can just do a lifeline after every um, in between the lace sections. You don't have to remove your previous lifeline when you insert a new one. Just just keep the old ones just in case you notice a mistake that you made earlier on and you really want to fix that you can always rip back to your lifeline there. And uh, say you're in a really big lace section uh, for example, if it's like 20 rows and halfway through you're like, whew, this is a really uh, difficult lace pattern. I'm really happy that I have knit until so far. Then feel free to just 
put in a lifeline in the middle of the chart just wherever you want uh, because if you put in a lifeline at the beginning of the chart and then you've done quite a bit and then you make a mistake you have to rip all the way back so just put them in whenever you want uh, wherever you think it might help you that's what they're for and it's the best thing to finish a project and then just take out all of those lifelines and yeah that's really satisfying <laughs> All right, so if you have any more questions regarding lifelines, when to use them, how to use them, how to rip back, just uh, put them down below and I'll come and help you. But I really do hope that this video helped you along. Um, so yeah, happy knitting and if you're knitting my shawl uh, and if you're sharing pictures, make sure to do so by tagging them with Cozy Moments Shawl and Val Mal for our Valentine's make-along. Alright, happy knitting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!